Oh, go back over to the comments in a minute. Yeah, the comments say all kinds of stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, well, well because it, we're watching the, the video that EBK just put out, and, and it's an older uh, call, but you hear um, Flacco's girlfriend uh, actually doxing him uh, on a live stream. There's You're making a deal. There's I no saw deal. you. I saw you with my own eyes. Oh, the hood cops, I no, I She's saw drunk. you. She's drunk. You were standing there making a deal. Okay. She uh, calls the cops and says, um, she says, I saw him deal that I walked into the room and he was weighing out dope on a scale. And he tells the, and she's telling him this live, like on, that's his wife. And, 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 uh, she's doing like this, telling him that, or telling the cops that, and Flacco's like, nah, she's just racist. She's just mad that I had a black dude in the house. She's just racist, <laughs> right? Um, so, but she was doxing that fool live and it was the same address. It's the same address that's in the news now. So she was really doing that. She was really putting that out there like that. That is wild. Um, Miss Thang. I heard the girl was hit with a ricochet. That's possible. That's possible. Um, but yeah, this seemed to be... It seems to be... Um, some sort of dispute. Some sort of dispute between him and uh, him and his what you call and uh, him and his roommates i guess roommates is what you would say or his roommate and his girl um uh my understanding is is that there's there seems to be drugs involved uh there there was more confirmation of that i can at least say that much um not any transactions not anything having to do with any transaction but that uh the people are getting high basically it's not i mean this all happened at 2 30 in the morning Right? I don't know what they're doing at 2.30 in the morning. I know what I used to do at 2.30 in the morning. It wasn't the best. Right? Like right now, I'm already tired. That's This is the end of the day for me. I'm an old ass man now. For one thing, because the person that, uh, uh, the alleged victim, uh, Flacco's roommate, was his roommate, that actually does make it a domestic situation. And technically, by law, that is actually a domestic violence, right? Because he, he hit somebody, he blasted somebody that he lived with. So that is like actually the definition of a domestic violence. You don't have to be related to the person at all, at all, at all, at all. It's just basically if you live in the same household, that's, you know, it's violence within the house. That's the definition of domestic violence. So... Yeah, he's gonna have a, 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 a domestic violence with a with a weapon. <laughs> Two domestic violences with a weapon. Um, well, I don't know though. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I shouldn't say that because uh, Rich said that he heard that it was a ricochet. So I don't know if you could hit somebody with the second assault. Okay, you think you could hit somebody with the second assault if you hit one person and then it ricochets and clips the second person? Is that a second assault? Whole new charge? It might be. That's kind of how things work. I got some. Uh, if anything could have took, if anything could have taken the spotlight off of Gunner, this was it. Like, like he, he Flacco, he owes Flacco a debt of gratitude. I'll give him that. That fool could breathe again. <laughs> it's just like politics. That's how politics go, right? Then you can breathe again. You get elected, then you can breathe again. And some another scandal shows up that's bigger than your scandal, then you can breathe again. <laughs> Timmy says, from what I hear is that the girl caught Flacco in the man and she <laughs> Oh I yeah, I did see I did see uh that video of him uh that's that is wild that is wild at 53 years old 
Yeah, that was too much. Yeah, there was. That's that's what we've can confirmed so far. There was dope involved. It was a domestic situation, uh, but only because, uh, for some reason or another, the roommates the roommates had to go. Dog, or I I don't know, man. The roommates had to go. Flocka was over it. Maybe, maybe she was dirty. Maybe she, I don't know. Maybe kept, you know, not picking up after himself. Who knows? God only knows. Why would you? Why would you blast your roommate? You know. Maybe he keeps pissing on the toilet seat. Maybe his girl won't shut the hell up. She just keeps getting high and won't shut the hell up. What would make you blast your roommate? Your roommate and his girlfriend. Flaco means skinny in Spanish. Hit them likes, my friends, please. Let's all support him financially. I don't even know where he is to support him financially. I don't think we can support him financially. I support him uh, uh, emotionally in my heart. Uh, but I need some financial support. I'm broke as hell. Flacco could go, maybe if Flacco could make it to South America like that TikTok fugitive dude. What if he could make it to South America down to St. Kitts and then he could just stream his channel? If he could successfully do that, he could make a bunch of money from down there. You know what I mean? Or I don't know. They might not let him run his YouTube. Well, I don't know. They're letting he he'd have to move over to TikTok maybe. And Adam from No Jumper, that fool just that fool. It shows you how fragile your star is. You know, cuz if you think about it in Hollywood, if if you make a bad movie, right? And then you're like, ah, oh, you know, maybe you don't work for a little while. And then somebody picks you up and they give you a, maybe a smaller role or something like that. And you, but you keep working, right? It, YouTube is like, if they turn on you, our, our platforms, we don't have that star power. We've just got this little platform. And whenever someone, if, if something attacks it, they can just destroy it, dude. They can just destroy it. Adam, Adam just like, Became non relevant. Adam 22 became non relevant in like within maybe two weeks' time. It's like a joke. Not saying anything about Flacco, but if you up on meth more than four days, you would blast your roommate for just about anything. <laughs> you heard Flacco might end up on the FBI most wanted list. I I don't know. Nobody even nobody even lost their life, so that would kind of be a waste of the waste of a spot on the. Yeah, exactly. Flacco's a cop. He's okay. He's gonna call up his FBI handler or call up his DEA handler that he that he ratted to the first time. He's gonna be like, "Listen, bro, we're in a situation again. We need to figure this out. <laughs> we need to figure out who I can roll on real quick." No, Russia ain't extraditing anybody. Russia is openly asking anybody to please come over there. Um, there's actually commercials. You can find commercials. Russia offering. Uh, they kind of make fun of us. They 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 say, hey, basically, like, you won't have to deal with the gay stuff. And we have really cheap gas. You don't have to worry about that. And they do. They have lots of natural gas. So it's very, very cheap. You don't have to worry about that at all. The price of gas is like nothing. Now, most people can't afford cars, right? But if you can afford a car, gas is, costs basically nothing to heat your house or to run your stove or anything like that. So Russia absolutely wants people. They are incentivized. Russia's, uh, uh, Russia gives thousands and thousands of dollars uh, for having a child. If you'll move there and have a child, there's a stipend that just comes from having a child. It's like three grand, four grand, something like that. It is very odd that the news didn't put out the two victims. I thought about that as well. Why Why is that? And I'm not seeing any other news stories about it, which is what's like I expected to see some updated news stories, and I don't be seeing them. Um, uh, it was a bad day. Wonder if Flacco fled to the south of the border. 
Um, or is he hiding in the desert? Either way, he's looking at a gang of time if he gets caught. Why would you say that? They're superficial. Okay, well, well, the people aren't being... It doesn't report... The reports don't say that the people are in critical condition. The reports don't say that the people are in, in, in any of that, which leads me to believe that the wounds were most likely superficial. Um, now, who knows what was in the house? Uh, I'm guessing that he had time to get anything out of the house that needed to be gotten out of the house, right? Because by the time they got there, there was no no trace of Flacco. Um, so all the paraphernalia, if you will, is certainly gone. Um, and he's got two people who it seems he was living with and were probably high um, testifying against him, I guess, or telling on him, I guess. I've also heard uh, what I'm getting is that his roommate may actually be a Southsider, an ex-Southsider, or we're not even sure of exactly the status, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking ex-Southsider. Um, so that's always going to play a role too, right? about how much dude's going to actually cooperate, if you will, in the long run. Maybe they said something for, for, I'll tell you like this, I've seen it happen before where the woman just tells and the man's just stuck standing there like, uh, and doesn't even know what to say because she just spills the whole beans, right? What, what if they went to the hospital, she spilled the whole beans and now homie's stuck with it? Who knows? Or maybe he told to. I don't know, right? Hit them likes, my friend. Flacco south of the border. What do y'all think? You think he's going to turn himself in? Or do you think maybe he's just trying to get himself, get himself together and then maybe he'll turn himself in? Who knows? That's always the plan, isn't it? Whenever you go on the run. I don't know if y'all ever been on the run. I've been on the run. That's always the plan. Is you're like, okay, I'm going to get my finances together. I'm going to work this out. And uh, uh, I'm going to turn myself in. I'm going to get a lawyer and make sure I got money on my books and da 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 And then uh, it never works out that way. Like I said, I still can't imagine blasting my roommate, though. Why would you blast your roommate? <laughs> right? Why would you blast your roommate and his girlfriend? Like, you know what? I had enough. I had enough of all this freedom. I had enough of YouTube. I had enough of getting laid and, and living a good life. I'm over all this shit. Getting high, doing the most, doing whatever the hell he's doing. And now I'm going to fuck all this off and blast my roommate. I mean, this ain't even a crime you can get away with. There's no getting away with that, right? It's pretty much impossible. It's pretty much impossible. This isn't shooting somebody on the other side of town and making a getaway. It's your roommate and his girl, and there's a girl involved. So she's gonna tell a hundred fucking percent, hundred and eighty-five percent. She's gonna tell, right? So even if homeboy was gonna was gonna hold down, fly was trying to fly in my mouth. Even if homeboy was gonna hold his mud, it wouldn't matter, cause the girl's gonna tell. She, she, she's not going to care. If she just got hit, she's not going to care. Right? Maybe she pulled a... I'm just, I'm just saying it's like, we, you got to think about what, how, how, how could the situation be so serious as to be, you know what I mean? As for people to start getting, getting knocked down. That's wild. Blast, blasting my roommate is not a bingo card. <laughs> I, just, I'm, I just can't imagine how bad it would have to get. Like my, like I said, my roommate's downstairs right now, and I just can't imagine that it, it would ever, things could ever get so bad that it would devolve into me shooting him. I just can't imagine what would have to happen. It's crazy. Yeah, like the black dude on belly. Flock of the aggressor with only himself witness. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what, the, and that's what their story is going to be, is that Flocka was, they were on their way to church, right? They were on their way to church. They were just chilling. Flacco's a drug-addled maniac, and 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 he flew into a rage, or something wild like that, you know. It's not rumors. I got it from somebody that that um. Flacco talked to somebody that night, the night that it happened, and. Uh, they thought that I should know. So, is it possible they're lying? It's always possible, but I don't think so. They weren't lying to me before. Well, we'll see. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. C, C, CWB, I'll have to come on and say I'm wrong if I'm wrong. But I don't think, I don't think I'm wrong. I trust my source. I'm collabing on his people. <laughs> Who's so far? I don't know about that one. That's what I'm guessing that they said. Uh, they the well the people right, the 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 roommates, um the roommates are the ones, is at least what the, uh, this is what the news reports say, is that the roommates were the ones who showed up at the hospital. They said that it happened at that house. Right. But then it doesn't look like the police served a search warrant until the morning. Right. Because um, all of the footage, if you go look at all of the footage from the raid that they did on the house, there's daylight going on. Right. It's all in the daylight. Well, this happened at two thirty in the morning. So there's hours there of time. Well, Flacco did whatever he did. said he relapsed last year and was trying to get clean again. Yeah, I imagine. Hey, you know, the struggle is real, man. I struggled with drugs my entire life. My drugs have caused... My father was a junkie his, pretty much his whole adult life. He died very young because of it because he couldn't stop using methamphetamine in the needle. Um, my mother used for several years. Many of the people around me used. Um, and many of the people around me's lives were cut short. Uh, because of drug use. Um, so, I, uh, yeah. Date, time, and where. <laughs> I have a funny feeling if he's using and all of the will end up going live at some point. You think he's going to go live on the run? I don't know. He might be sketched out about even having a phone. Plug, good to see you, sir. Flacco has alibis. I'm not... I'm. What facts did I have? All I said was, I'm talking about the facts that we know. I'm talking about the facts that we know, and I'm adding the fact that the people that they are claiming to be Flacco's victims are his roommates. And my understanding is these are his roommates. It is a guy. It is his roommate and his girlfriend. Right. And that it's possible that the guy is an ex Southsider, but that isn't a hundred percent confirmed. But that he thinks Mahomie said he thinks that the dude is an ex Southsider. It's not the news. I'm not talking to the news. I'm talking to one of my homies. Yeah. Now the news is just talking about some other stuff. And I could be wrong. Are you a registered news organization? Now you're just trolling, fool. <laughs> now you're just trolling, now we... <laughs> so, But this is the best thing that can happen for Flacco. I'm going to tell you the best situation that can happen for Flacco is if these people go about their business as far as doing drugs or living the life or doing whatever, stop cooperating with the police, move on with their lives and 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 if this fool can turn himself in get himself a lawyer and fight this out and as long as nobody's seriously hurt and nobody's cooperating with the cops 
or the people who are cooperating are incredible, right? If they're strung out or whatever. Um, get you a nice deal, man. You can get you a nice deal. I mean, you're still going back to the joint, but you're going to get you. The reason why you're still going to go back to the joint is because if they don't give you a sentence for the joint, the feds will just come pick it up. It'll piss them off. Right? Or who knows? He's a federal informant. Maybe the feds are still loving. Maybe they still show him love. Right? Maybe the feds won't come pick him up. Right? And that's the thing. Time's always on your side. That's the thing. Anytime you're fighting a case, time is on your side. If you've got the money and you can bond out, get your stuff together, bond out, get you a lawyer, a good lawyer that can drag it out and hit them with a bunch of motions and a bunch of continuances and you, you let things die down two to three years down the line. You know what I mean? You never know where these people will be in two to three years, what they'll be up to, what they'll be doing as far as the, you know, his alleged victims. Um, you know, you never know where they'll end, where they'll end up a couple years down the line and time is always on your side. Uh, uh, they, they're going to want to make a deal. The longer it sits on the docket, it actually, the more time and uh, money it takes them. Every time you have a new court date, that takes up their time because they're so slow, right? So the court dockets, all the procedural stuff, because it has to be done a certain way, it's very slow. So there's just not as many people as you could think that they can churn through these things. Now they can do it in some things like traffic court where they can bring like 60 of you in there at a time and then one person just gets up and sits in front of the, the thing while everybody else sits behind them over there. They do that sometimes. That's a way to get court done real quick, video court. But mostly uh, courts have procedures. If you're a felony, if you're in district court, I'm in district court because I commit felonies. There's procedures that go along. They can only do so many people in a day. And there's all these people catching felonies, right? There is no way if Flock was home, he would have done a runner. <laughs> no, he clearly didn't. That fool got off. <laughs> that fool got off. Yeah. They they tested Flacco's gangster and effed around and found out, fucked around and found out. You know what I mean? <laughs>